Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about um, finding regression lines. And so one of the things that we did in class was we created scatter plots and we either did that by hand like the graph shown or you can create a scatter plot in your calculator and I'm going to show you that in just a little bit. Then we're going to use that scatter plot to predict the type of polynomial. What we mean by type of polynomial, we mean is it quadratic, like a parabola, such as this one? Or is it cubic and sort of has that a shape? Um, is it possibly quartic because it has sort of that W shape to it? Or does it have another shape of one of our other higher order polynomials? And so we were able to calculate regression lines and compare what we called the coefficient of determination, which is the R squared value on our calculator. So I'm going to walk through how do I create this same the scatter plot on my calculator. So first you have to take open um, your calculator. Now that you have your calculator open, we're going to create this table on our calculator. And the way that we do that is we hit the stat button. And in the stat button, the first um, option is edit. And edit just means um, that you can enter in lists. So in list one, we're going to enter in all of the minutes um, in this situation. So you enter in 0, 10, 15, 20, 30, 45, and 60 in list one. And then in list two, you enter in its corresponding temperatures so that you're creating the same table in your calculator um, as you have on, the sh on your sheet. So we know how to do that by hand. Again, we can make a scatter plot that looks like this. Um, earlier in the year, we talked about making a scatter plot on our calculator, so this is just a review. If you go to second y equals, notice it says stat plot, and it says plot one right here. You just click number one. You're going to turn it on, so you have to have the on highlighted. This first one represents a graph, a scatter plot. So you arrow through all of those if you want to change it. Our X list was in list one, and our Y list happens to be in list two, so I have to change this. And the way that I change it is if you notice, above my number two is a little L2, so I just do second number two, and that's L2. And then um, what happens is, if I just hit graph, it's still in my 10 by 10 um, window. And we know that we have y values for temperatures that are as high as actually 100 in our table. And we have x values that go out to 60. Um, so we can go to our window and we can change that. You know, maybe you want to leave this as negative 10. And the x max that we saw in our table was 60. So maybe you want to go a little bit higher than that, like to 70. Um, our y values were temperature. Maybe you want to keep it at negative 10. Um, but the highest y value that we see in our table is 100. So now when we hit graph, it looks like the dots that we see on this page. Now notice that this dot is kind of half on there. That's because we made it only go as high as 100. And if we look at this graph, notice it's kind of half off that graph as well. If we want it to fit, we just go back to our window and make this a little bit higher, like 110. And now you'll notice that that point actually fits on the graph. But it shows the same sort of um, outline as the graph that we see here on the worksheet. I'm just going to move it down for a moment. Again, if you um, want your calculator graph to look almost the same, you notice that they made theirs go all the way out to 100 on their x values. So you could change your 70 to 100 as well. So your window just allows you to see those points. The next part of this chapter that we did is we said, OK, we think it looks like a parabola. And we know that parabolas are considered quadratic equations. And so what we did in class is we said, let's hit stat again. Let's arrow over to calc. And we want to go down to number 5 because that's going to allow us to find an equation for a quadratic regression because it says quad. If we push enter um, on your calculator, if you have a newer version, it just has a vertical list that should say list 1 and list 2. You just have to go down to calculate. Um, on an older version, you just push enter. And we notice that 
we have a negative parabola. That makes sense because it's opening down. So a is negative. And then we have other values for b and c. And our r squared value is negative point, or sorry, is positive point seven six. So that would be showing how well this graph fits. If we think that maybe a cubic function would fit better, we repeat the same process, stat, calc, and we go down to number 6, which has cubic regression line, and we push enter. The same thing will show up in your calculator screen. You just go down to calculate or push enter. And when we calculate this one, what we notice is that our r squared value actually got higher. So even though we think a parabola looks appropriate, this is telling us that our cubic regression might fit better because it has a higher r squared value. If you thought maybe a quartic regression worked, you go same thing, stat, then you go over to calculate, and you go down to number 7, quartic, remember, is an x to the fourth, push enter, it looks exactly the same, you push enter again, and when you look at your r squared value, you have to use the arrow down, we notice we have a point, um, 88 or 0.89. So maybe a quartic fits better. And the way we decided in class is whichever r squared value was the highest, that was the regression line that fit the best. So if you notice again how this answer was stated, they said so the data could be a quadratic. And that was true, it could fit. But is it the best fit? Um, again, we're comparing those r squared values, and actually a quartic regression had the highest r squared value. So that's what we were doing in this section. We were creating scatter plots, um, again, by doing stat, edit, putting our lists in here. And then we were doing stat, calculate, and deciding which one of our regression lines, again, quartic, um, quadratic, cubic, quartic, notice there's nothing else have that it goes back to linear, um, which one of those three fit um, the best? Um, so if you have any questions on how to use your calculator, please um, stop in, let me know. If the R squared value isn't showing up, I can show you how to make that happen as well. Thanks.